this will be my second Japan haul. I went for two weeks this time. We went to Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka, and I just did the thing again. I couldn't hold back all the things I wanted to get. If you are into Japan or Japanese things, you know that when you go over there, you can't just leave things there because you're never gonna see it again for like the same price or just like in general. Usually they have like limited edition guides. So you have to bring them home right as you see them. I have a bunch of different categories, but I think that we should start with the plushie category. Firstly, if you haven't seen my YouTube short, I went to the Mofusan store and I got so many little Mofusan guys, but these are the only plushies that I got. First I got this station Mofusan plushie. Mofusan is located in the Tokyo station. He's got his hat, but it is too big for his head. It's falling off. This is the back of him. He's so cute. And then this one, I usually don't get too many Mofusan plushies because there's just so many and I want them all. But this one is the little frog one. If you don't know what Mofusan is and you're into Japanese things, then are you into Japanese things? Dive down that hole. Listen, I'm not usually a Sanrio girly, but I saw this little baby. Hello Hello Kitty in her little blue dress. The details on it are absolutely adorable. She's got a matching bow. My Sanrio collection is not as big as most people would probably think it would be. She is a good addition. If you know me, you know that my Pikachu collection is gigantic and every time I see a special Pikachu, I have to go and pick him up. So this is the Sakura Pikachu. When I saw him, the guy was like, this one's rare. And I was like, I know. You can only get him at a certain point of the year. So I had to pick him up. He's got his little Sakura Afro. I also got this one and I'm not exactly sure what it's called. The lady told me when I saw him first and then I completely forgot the word for it. He is definitely Japanese flavored. He's very special. I like him. I really love his little outfit. This one is not one of the special Pikachus, but in my heart, he's more special than all of the other ones that I have because look what he can do. Isn't that so cute? And look, his little tail's just so floppy. Pokemon Sleep came out this year and with it came all of the sleeping plushies, which I have not gotten any of except for Rowlet. I wanted to get a bunch of Rowlet this year while I went. Like every time I saw a Rowlet plush, I wanted to pick it up and bring it home. But I knew that that would cost so much money in shipping. So <laughs> I just decided to get the one that I thought was the best. Also, if you know me or if you've ever been to my house, my Fue Coco collection is gigantic and every time that I see a Fue Coco that I don't have yet, I must get him. I don't know, it's like this primal urge inside me that just wants all of the Fue Cocos. So here's all of my new additions. This one is pretty basic, but he came from a claw machine. He's actually really good quality for a claw machine plushie. They have so many of these fluffy ones, but they didn't have a Fue Coco the last time I went. And this is what he looks like. He's just a fluffy Fue Coco. And this one we found in Kyoto. They are the Kyoto, the board of the the moment I saw him, I was like, you have to be a part of my family. Look. It's a puppet. I love puppets. I don't know. It's it's a weird thing that I have. Now I have a Fue Coco puppet. And then the last plush that I got is just this little guy. I didn't really want him that badly. I'm pretty happy about him though. Oh my God. And how could I forget the best plushie of all? This is the mascot of the best store in Japan, Don Kyote. If you've never been to a donkey, you need to go specifically at 4 a.m. and just get super overstimulated. So my next category and the one I'm most excited for is my DS and 3DS collection that I have just started. I got the idea just before I went to Japan, I was like, I want to have a Japanese DS and a Japanese 3DS as well as a bunch of games. So then that way when I play them, I'm forced to do Japanese. Learning Japanese is very hard. And so surrounding yourself with Japanese things can really help with learning. So I just wanted to add a little extra learning into my life. First, I picked up this DSL. This is the same DSL that I had when I was a little kid, the pink one, and I really loved it. So I just wanted to like have that back. I wish that I had my original one still, but I think I sold it because I was a teenager and I needed food. So I was sold my DS. Poverty. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. I think it comes with an extra stylus. Came with a charger. Still has the manual and everything. 
it works. I love that, so I'm super excited to play with this. <laughs> the next thing that I got was a 3DS Extra Large. This is the one that I always wanted, but I never had. I remember my cousins got one, and they they just asked for one one day, and then their mom went out and got them one. I was like, oh my god, what's it like having money? <laughs> now I know. So I just wanted one, and so I went out and I got one. It also comes with a manual and these, like, original cards this one is also in amazing shape it like genuinely looks like nobody's played with this before <laughs> and it of course it turns on i don't know if it has battery right now this one is currently not alive i need to get one in english so that i can you know actually enjoy games and not just learn from them. If you have a Japanese DS or 3DS, you can only use Japanese games in it. It will not work with English games. I didn't know that until I bought one. So if you're just going to Japan to buy a 3DS, make sure that you know that. I of course also got so many games. I got this one. I don't remember what it's called, but I remember having it as a child and being like, oh my God, so much fun. Nintendo dogs and cats, Super Smash Bros, Mario Kart 7, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Apparently this one's bad, but. I'm gonna try it anyway. It was $2. Animal Crossing New Leaf, which I am so excited about. So you have to get it. Pokemon X, the best Pokemon game on the 3DS. Omega Ruby, Heiko Drum Master, and Pokemon Moon. Then I didn't get as many titles for the DS, but I got quite a few. Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Pearl, Nintendo Dogs with Sheebs, Animal Crossing Wild World, Harvest Moon, and Mario Kart. This was the first Mario Kart game I ever played and I played it all the time and you're probably like aj that's a lot of games they were all like five dollars every single game that i got in this pile was like five dollars except for a few of them i just know that i didn't pay more than like a hundred dollars for all of these games then as well i also got this is so silly but i just think that they look cool i got the japanese game manual i just thought it looked pretty <laughs> and i wanted to see it on my shelf and i also got it for diamond and pearl because it is my favorite and my first ever pokemon generation the next category is super duper tiny but still makes me happy usually don't care to have little tiny things but i just wanted to like scatter them around my house and there's a few that i haven't even opened yet this one is a mofusan one he's a little cow this mofusan that is dressed up as a fox and these two i haven't even seen yet so i'm so excited <laughs> Oh my god! This is the new Sanrio character that just came out like this year. It's the ghost that's afraid of things. It's so cute. I don't know what its name is, but I love him. But I'm seeing a little bit and I'm very excited about it. Oh my god. It's a whooper! Oh, I love it. And he's a keychain. That's awesome. And I got this purple one. I don't know what's in it. It looks like it's cinnamon roll. It is cinnamon roll! That is a cinnamon roll dressed up as a little rabbit. Wow, it's so cute. Okay, and the last category is called things for my kitchen. So we went to the Pokemon cafe. I made a short about it, you should definitely watch it. First, I got this mug. I can never have too many mugs. Got a little Pikachu tail on it and a little guy inside. I have tea every morning, so I'm like, why not get a really funky teapot as well as the teacup to go with I got this set of chopsticks and spoon as well I believe it's to scoop your matcha this thing I was under the impression that this would be a matcha whisk inside but it's actually just an empty container to put your matcha in I also have these chopsticks that say Tokyo bonus rounds my neighbor sings for Joe Hitachi. He, he made the Ghibli songs. She's having a baby. She gets this. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm going to be making like a full video looking at all the old save files from these games, which I'm so excited about. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I'm also going to be making a video about the clothes that I got in Japan. Here's a little sneak peek. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I really, really appreciate you. And please do consider subscribing. It would make my little heart so, so happy. I will see you later. Bye-bye.